What's up, Rubits? Uh, Little Big Robots here. Uh, kind of an unusual video today, but I thought you might enjoy it. Uh, please subscribe, by the way, if you like little versions of Big Robots. That's what I do on this channel. Today I'm looking at... I had to do, do my zoom out lens here to, to kind of show you some of the uh, figures. Do I get them all in the shot? Hey, look at that. I've got pretty much all of them in the shot. Wow. So you're going to see a little of my dirty floor and everything, but basically I've got most uh, about 75% of the action figures I, I, I own currently. Um, I wanted to do this to organize them by basic size. You can see not scale, but by size. I still got to organize it more like this guy should go here and this maybe this guy go there, blah, blah, blah. That sort of thing. But I'm also organizing it so that I might be able to uh, sell off a few, get rid of a few, uh, garage sale, whatever. Um, this is also a good illustration of just how easily you can get so many figures so quickly. <laughs> like, this is nothing compared to what other people have. Um, so, let me go around here. This area, let me, you know what I'm going to do? I need a little, like, a little pointy stick. Do I have a little pointy stick? Sure, here I do. Got my handy little ruler here. So this area here, this is obviously the smaller areas, the four inches, the unusual size. Some of these figures here I really, really, really like. Um, I, 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 the more I mess with this kind of size, let me put it on the normal view now. Let's see here. Where's my normal view? Do, 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 do. I can't see it. Oh, okay. Doop. There we go. So I've got the normal view now. The, the more I mess with this size, this scale-ish, where the figure's average size person is around four inches or whatever, so that would be, I um, can't remember what scale that is. Um, this came from a little, uh, a little set from Ready Player One, and it's just basic articulation, but I really like this one and his little friend from the same movie. I really like hers a lot. Uh, what's funny about this one is her arm was put on backwards, though. You see that? It's kind of weird. Uh, but that can probably be fixed. But I'm looking at this size also for maybe my customization. In that last video I did, I talked about using a um, like a standard uh, uh, Marvel Legends size. The uh, 1 12th, I think they are. 1 10th. I can't remember. 1 12th. Um, but the more I look at these... Um, they're, these are a little more inexpensive. I believe they're 118 scale is what 4 inches is basically going to be called. 118 has tons of opportunities for high quality stuff like this. So I can get really high quality head sculpts and then lower quality cheap ones like this. They've even got some unusual ones like this Wolfman my friend gave me. Um, this Jinx here. That's from a... Um, League of Legends, I got her for $3. You can you can pick those up all the time. Some of them have more artic articulation than others. So her wrist doesn't bend. Her head just moves. So it's really pretty. Uh, it's not bad, though. Um, unlike this one here where the legs just go up and, you know, straight up and down. Um, so I'm kind of feeling this size mostly because then you can get into... Um, Oops, I lost her arm for some reason. I have a million of these. I am elemental toys. Those can make those are like an army builder. You have little Fortnite toys you can get for dirt cheap. Um, you know, you've got a I've got a lot of little great options. My friend gave me these Doctor Who ones, which aren't quite a little smaller-ish, but basically 118 scale. But as you can see, I even have these cool ones here. This is a Fortnite four inch I got from somewhere, I think. No, that was a ready player one there. This is a old school, uh, original robotics um, astronaut. I'm not going to be using this particular one. Um, this is not the one from when I was a kid. I had to actually buy this one, but I bought some old robotics. I, you know what? I do still have my original one somewhere. Um, but as you can see, I've got just a ton of variety um, in that area. So I've got even these. Not that I would use these. These are their first series um avatar figs my friend gave me those you've got these unusual little let me see if i can grab these without putting too much in the shot here this little uh weird 
Fallout armor. I got that for like a dollar. I got this weird figure. I can't remember what he was. What was this one? I can't remember. But as you can see, like I was saying, this is definitely, this is as hardcore 118 as you can get. This is a um, joy toy. And so I kind of use her as a gauge. And you can quickly get into slightly larger characters. And then if I got into the 124th, I'm sorry, 112th Marvel Legends, I could easily start making giants because I want to make kind of a, I don't want to say a race of giants, but a lot of larger people and then some smaller ones as well. And I'd have that opportunity with some of these, even, these this scale that's a little bit, a little bit smaller. So in this smaller range, I've just got more freedom. I've got the Brooders. What I like about Brooder is they make a lots of different skin tones. Uh, that these other toys are just, it's almost impossible to find different skin tones. It's really, really crazy. Um, and then you get into the kind of your standard figure and then your 112 kind of ranges. But again, these, I won't be mess, I won't be customizing Squirrel Girl or any of these particular ones that have a really particular um, look. I want to keep all the female heroes I have, her, America Chavez, people like that. But I got like this Borderlands figure here. I got her for a few bucks. So, well, she's a really, really good figure that, you know, that flat paint would take, would take a paint really well. You know, she's, you could trim this off if you needed to use her legs. In other words, I wouldn't mind if I had to chop her up because I got her for like, I got this one for literally like $2. And so I've got a bunch of options in that scale, but up against 118, they seem like giants. So <clears throat> I had to debate, do I want to go all this scale because I want to make some giant vehicles and stuff or keep it this scale. Both of these have a huge amount of variety um, as far as, you know, an offerings for cheap, super cheap figs. I won't be messing with My friend gave me the Sherlock, but I won't be messing with him. Um, <clears throat> just really inexpensive. I got this extra, uh, what's his name from the Iron Monger, and he's huge. But, you know, if you needed that head sculpt or that body with the suit, you know, you might get something like that. I have this great guy. I got him for a few dollars. And he's really heavy. He's metal legs. You know, but all these little parts you could see being able to use if you needed that. So, and then, of course, you got all the all their Marvel Legends, which are, you can pick these up for literally a few dollars on sale. Just like Army Builder ones. Just to have the head sculpt, the the clothes or whatever you've got so many so many options then if you get kind of crazy and you start getting let me see if i can move my camera down here a little bit you start to get into some really larger sizes the seven inch mcfarlands this uh, Fortnite toy i got for three bucks from heb no it's four bucks the uh this wicked line of uh light ear toys i've got the original this is the original pilot, by the way, from Avatar. I'm getting the new one today, so I'll be comparing that. Um, you've got just one-off type figs. I got like this for a few bucks. What's his name from Doctor Who? You know, which I probably wouldn't do much with because this is a really unusual. But he was so cheap, I'll never use this. I might need his legs or his hands or even his helmet or his head. Look at his head. It's fantastic. Um, and then you've got those weird ones that I got for a few bucks. That I probably leave guys like this alone. They're just they're more like an art toy, but you could imagine if you oops if you needed an arm or something like that. That's just it's crazy. And these hands come off, so you can use the extra hands. You've got the incredible lineup of uh, pandemony toys. Excuse me, and you can often find these for really really cheap. He puts them on sale all the time. This is a fantastic line. Again, for larger characters. So see, now as I mess with it more, I see so many opportunities. So let's say, because one of my characters is a female, about that size. I'd have, I'd still have lots of, lots of chances for a larger, like a giant, but not too giant. But my big concern with going this way is vehicles and stuff. You know, they're, oh, they, she could ride on him. Um, you know, they're just, they would just be so huge. Look at this raptor. I got him for a few bucks from... H-E-B, she could have him as a pet. You know, so many good opportunities for different things. Here, let me see if I can zoom out again and get you. So if, a lot of people always ask, like, what is that toy in the background and stuff? And so if you want to see it, sorry, I'm trying to let's see if I can. There we go. So you won't see in my dirty floor as much. My new cat is messing with everything. So I've got Eye Guy. I love Eye Guy. I'm always looking for those on sale. 
Got this weird guy, which I'll probably leave as it is. It's, an, again, another art toy, but I absolutely love this critter. I need to put him back on the shelf. Um, random robots, because I am going to make a robot character. This is a knockoff of somebody else. Uh, this guy, this lineup is incredible. I probably won't even touch this, because they were kind of pricey. But also, it just looks so good. It's such a fun uh, fun bot. It has a, it's, heavy, it's made of metal on a lot of the parts. It has this cool seat in there with a pilot and stuff just this is a fantastic line they're not cheap um i reviewed this so it's back in my videos you know then you've got stuff like this uh, batman which already took his head off that compared to a uh i mean there's some giant options for sure uh i don't know what to do now so anyway i've got just tons and tons of weird figs that I can be using. The Fortnites are so good. Oh my gosh. See, now I'm double thinking it. Maybe I could, because there is a smaller race, smaller group of people. Maybe I could make them the, you know, the smaller. And also they, you could use some of those for, for children and stuff. The Brooders are great. They don't have a lot of uh, articulation, but they're just a, a really solid figure. I really love these Brooders. I need to get more of these for sure. And they have great real human head sculpts and stuff so other than that then of course you got tons of the cheap um lineup of uh from the dollar tree store they, these guys were great i have all the reviews on that one you know just tons of random stuff if you can see anything you like ask me about it you got these harry potter figs for a few bucks but and i don't care about harry potter but man look at those head sculpts and the clothes i mean it's just this is a fantastic line uh, for, for as much as I paid. Anyway, so that's just a, a kind of a quick look at, uh, at, you know, what I'm doing here. What I'll probably end up doing, let me get back to one, there we go. Probably end up doing is just def def deciding on a scale. I thought about this last time, but then I wanted to go to a smaller scale. <sighs> and I don't want to make, not necessarily that many giant creatures, you know, but four inch scale, you've got a ton of options. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm really kind of at a loss at this point. So what? I, let me get, get a little screen cap. Boop. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. I've got so many opportunities for cool critters that I got. You know, you can, action figures you get for three bucks at GameStop, and they're really, really good. And you know, I just don't use them for anything until I need a custom, and I could use that head, this arm, this weapon. There's so many good little options there. So have a good one, everybody. I thought you'd uh, like to take a look at the mess that I have made. So now I've got to clean it up. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.